good morning, Abba family. My name is Max. And my name is Christian. And, and this, this is your Rick Keys for today. Tell your testimony. It may be embarrassing, but it will surely empower someone else. Pastor Ricky G. Rush. My testimony starts the day I was born. Upon delivery, doctors noticed that my breathing was off due to a punctured lung. After being rushed into intensive care, doctors performed surgery to close the hole in Christian's lung. The surgery was not successful, and my parents were told that the only way for me to remain alive was to be placed on a ventilator. With a slim chance of survival, my family prayed for a miracle. Doctors decided to attempt another surgery. Praise God, the second surgery worked. And after days of being on a ventilator, I was able to breathe on my own. There cannot be a testimony without a test. But don't be ashamed to share your testimony with others. Remember, with God on your side, you can't lose. My name is Christian. And my name is Max. And, and this is your Rick Keys for today. today. Good morning, God Box family. I'm Carson, and you're watching IBOC It In. Today is Sunday, June 6th. That's right, a brand new start to a brand new month. At IBOC It In, we provide you with news that you can use. But there's also another way to stay up to date. It's the IBOC Month at a Glance. It's a great way to stay informed so you can stay connected. Grab your copy in person or online. That's not all. Here's some trending topics from the U of D and IBLC. Check it out. It's a brand new month with brand new reasons to praise God. And here are your trending topics for the week. Good morning, family. My name is Harvey, and I want you to know that IBOC cares about the community. We don't just talk the talk, we walk the walk. We have partnered with the Texas Department of State Health Services to bring the Moderna vaccine to our community. All right, hi, this is Pastor Rush, and here we are again. And right now, we are in the process of vaccinating young people, older people, middle-aged people, all people. Listen, no lines, no cares, no worries. Right here at the IBOC COVID-19 Vaccination Center, God has allowed us the opportunity to have the laboratories right here in our awesome sanctuary, in our awesome church, in the building that God has blessed with us. You know, you're watching young people get their shots, you're watching older people get their shots, you're watching middle-aged people get their shots, you're watching people with fears overcome fears. We're watching life start all over again. That's what it means to get reset. Thank you so much for being a part of this process now. You can right now tell someone today, hey, you can get up to IBOC and get your shot before 4 p.m. You will be on your way to the next stage and phase of your life. God bless you. Wonderful experts on the job. This stuff is working great. We're knocking out Corona in Jesus' name. Good morning, family. My name is Heaven, and I've got to tell you about last week's Women's Fellowship. It was out of this world. Not only do we have a packed house of inspiring women, but we had great praise and worship. The praise dancers honored Pastor Rush for being an amazing corner man. We got to see familiar faces in a fun, safe environment. It was so refreshing to love on each other and encourage each other. Pastor Marvin Winans even stopped by to say how inspired he was to visit IBOC. Listen, ladies, if you haven't been to Women's Fellowship, what are you waiting for? Join us on the first Wednesday of every month. So we'll see you on July 7th. Have a great day, family. That's all we have for this week on IBOC It In. Be sure to come to Monday School tomorrow night at 7 p.m. In person or online. I'm Carson, and you've been watching IBOC It In. Bye.
Last week, we celebrated the life of a great woman of God, Evangelist Joyce Rogers. She was known around the world as a giant slayer. She was a powerful speaker, but most of all, she was our sister. She spoke at IBOC several times, and in August of 2019, we were honored to be the host of her Go Big Conference. She even took the time out of her busy schedule to visit the scholars at the University of Dreams, inspiring them to go big. We will never forget Joyce Rogers. And before we get to the word of God, be blessed by the words of our sister. So again, Pastor Rush, we celebrate whatever it took for you to get to where you are right now. Because you really ain't seen nothing yet. 1 Corinthians 2 and 9, I haven't seen nor ear heard, neither has it entered into the heart of men the things that God has in store for you. God is going to compensate you for your labor. And let me say to you, it's going to be big. I thank you for the touch that you make upon everyone's life. When they've been in your presence, there is a godly touch that exemplifies who you are. A man of honor, a man of integrity, a man of faith, a man of power, a crazy little man, but a man that God calls his son. Congratulations, enjoy, your day, and get ready for many, many more. There's so much work to be done in the city, and you have been chosen for a time such as this. Love you and be blessed. Hoo, celebrate, hoo, hoo, celebrate. Bless you, Joyce L. Rogers. Be blessed.